How is it to go? Well, now out to there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. I'd like to show you guys my top 10 favorite lava levels in Mario games. My top 10 favorite lava levels in Mario games. So if you guys give me a huge, huge favor and snap that like button for me and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified every time I have new videos come out. <sighs> Yes, thank you all for supporting my channel so much. I really appreciate that. Um, we're going to talk about what lava levels are my favorite lava levels to play. Just excuse me. And without further ado, let's go. Coming at number 10 on my list, we have Corona Mountain from Super Mario Sunshine. What I really like about this level is the music. The music is so epic. You know this level's kind of hectic, but it's really not too, too hard with some practice, but it's a little bit hectic. Because if you touch the spikes, it's instant kill. And that's what makes this level, a, that's what can make it fairly challenging. But guys, one thing about Super Sunshine, most of the levels are pretty challenging anyway. And that's the only drawback to this game, is just how difficult it is. What I really love about Corona Mountain is the music and then how the lava looks and stuff. Because the music is so epic. I have no clue why I'm having so much trouble with that. And then... You gotta be on your toes here. And then you just gotta do this. And then you have to get you have to follow your path. But once you get here, it becomes more predictable. Because you can just use the hover nozzle to put out the spires. And it's pretty cool. This level is pretty cool. Okay, so, you always have a one-up here just in case you die. You can ground pound that one-up. And here is the, my least favorite part of the level. It's still kind of cool that you do have a boat here, but this boat is the part, only part I don't like. But otherwise, this level's really fun to play. We got the music is epic. I know the level is kind of a little bit hectic, but... But once you know how to control, I know this boat's not the easiest boat in the world to control. Since the boat's hard to control, once you're able to control the boat and go this way, you're able to go on this platform, and then you have to use the rocket nozzle to go up in these clouds. That's all to say about this level, so now moving on. Number nine on my list has to be Mount Mag Meow from uh, Bowser's Fury. The reason why this is um, number nine is because. It's not really that challenging by any means, but I certainly didn't find this game to be, I did not find this game to be very challenging, because most of this game is on the easier side, but I love it because of these platforming sections here, because you have to avoid all this. So that's why I like it. That's why it's fun. Because you have to go along platforms like this. And you have to avoid this lava like this. It's just really, really fun. Like, you really have to avoid all of this. And you can find secrets. And then you can hit the switch here. You can do this. You can hit the switch here to reveal the path. Of and then when you do that, you can go inside the top, and that's all I'm talking about Mount Magmeow, so now moving on. Number 8 on my list is World 8-7 from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. What makes this a really fun lava level to play is that... Excuse me. It's just really fun. Because you're on this roller coaster. 
and then he has to ride the roller coaster throughout the level. That's why I like it. It reminds me a little bit of Chrono Mountain from Super Mario Sunshine, except easier. Excuse me, so this level is not too, it's not hard by you, man. It's just really fun, and it's chill to play too. So, you're just riding on the roller coaster. Watching out for everything and stuff like this. You're just watching out for everything. You're just really having to pay attention and watch out for everything. As long as you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. Because of this. And then that's really all I'm excited about this level, so now moving on. Number seven on my list is the Luncheon Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Why this is up there is because it's nice and chill to play. And you can explore on it. And that's the beauty of it. Is that in order to go around this lava, what you can do is this lava is a different color from most lava. Because lava is usually orange, and this lava is pink. Pinkish purplish color, anyway. And you can use a lava bubble to explore around here. Mount, Mount, Mount Bobano. This is just a really, really amazing lava level, nonetheless. It's just really fun to explore. It's really fun to use these lava bubbles to go on and on. And it's just really, really fun. And that's what's really, really amazing about this. That's why it's number seven on my list, because you can explore around. You can go this way. food around here too. And you can go inside this pipe to get into a 2D section. Your only danger are these hammer bros. Which are not the easiest world not the easiest in the world to avoid. So you just have to avoid everything and just like that. yourself a mood. And that's really all to say about this level, so now moving on. Number six on my list is Grumble Volcano from Mario Kart Wii. This is the only level from a Mario Kart game that will be on this list. Because you go through a, a volcano here. Excuse me. And it's just so fluid, so fun. And you go through it, and it's very epic. That's why it's number six on my list. I hope you guys enjoyed my top ten that I did on my channel. And then you have a lot going on. You have to watch out for these, for lots of stuff here. And then you have multiple paths you can take. And it's just a really, really fun track. And it feels kind of like Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. Like it really does. And you're just racing and racing on, on this track. And all kinds of stuff like this. That's really all I can say about this, so now I'm moving on. Number five on my list has to be the Magnificent Magma City from Super Mario Galaxy 2. The main reason why this one is really, really fun to play is because it's very chill to play, very relaxing to play, and the music is so epic. And it, the music is so epic enough to where you just want to listen to it all day long. It's just 
रहता है And then you just gotta go through here, and then you have waves of lava to watch out for. But it's still very easy to avoid because you can, if you miscalculate a jump, you can save yourself no problem with the spin. And you can just go through here. <laughs> exactly like this. <laughs> then the shortcut is really easy to do. So is this shortcut really easy to do. And it's really fun to put star bits and explore around this level. And then it just goes on and on. Now you have the tornadoes here. Stuff like that. And then you have to go on up here, swing back and forth, and then go to the launch star up here. And then it'll blast you off. And that's really all to say about this level, so now moving on. Number four on my list is Prince P Picante's. Peppery Mood from Sugar Burn Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. The reason why this one is number 4 on my list for my top 10 favorite lava levels in Mario games is because... ...of the music here. And it's so... And it's so, so epic. I just love how the music here sounds. Because it's so epic. And I love this environment so much. It's just really fun to explore around. And stuff like that. Like it really is really, really fun to explore around. And then, once you, and then the cool thing about this, you can also turn it into ice by using, once you grab the fire, once you grab the cloud flower, you can do this. Ground pound this and it turns to ice, so on and so forth. That's really all I have to say about this, so now moving on. Number three on my list has to be Hot and Cold Collide from Super Mario Galaxy, which is from the Freeze Flame Galaxy. The reason why this one is number three is because you can go to cold on one side and you can go to hot on the other side. That's the reason. The music is just epic. The music is so epic and chill to listen to. Like it really, really is. And it's just really, really awesome to listen to. Like this just this is just glorious music. And you have lava going around on the ice. So these are the kind of lava levels I like. And then you just go around here. Now we're in the ice cold section. And all you have to do in this section is just wait until the, wa the cold water goes down. Spin this screw. And you are set.
One thing to keep in mind before you before you advance is that you might want to grab a you might want to grab one thing that's over here. You might want to grab this thing first, which is this double HP thing. Because it'll help you out along your way. And then, that's what you might want to grab it but first. I love walking on the hot side of it, which is the lava side of it. Because it is just epic to listen to. It's very chill to listen to, too. Fun. It's a fun, fun level to play. Even though I just screwed up a little bit, but that's okay. No big deal. It's still very easy. And then right here, you gotta take this fire flower. And then one thing you gotta do is you gotta um use the fire flower to light up those torches. Throwing fireballs on them. Make a long star here. That's really all I have to say about this one, so now I'm moving on. Number two on my list is the Sunken Lava Spire from Super Mario Galaxy. The reason why, and this one's from the Melty Molten Galaxy. The reason why I say this one's number two is because it's so epic. The music is so epic to listen to. The level's really chill to play, and stuff like that. Excuse me. That's just how awesome this is. Making this my second favorite galaxy in the game makes a free flying galaxy. Um, this is just epic and awesome. Like, it's actually quite simple of a level to go through because you can actually breeze through it pretty easily if you know the pattern. Lava is just so epic. That's why it's number two on my list. And then you just can go through here and breeze through here. And then you just have to ground pound this. And then right here, all I gotta do is just wall jump up. And then here, you gotta use the two sling stars, and then use the launch star to blast off. It's pretty simple, right? And then you can collect some star bits on the launch star path thing. And use the sling star to go over here. And now you just go from full star to full star. And that's all you have to do. Take your time at it and then just enjoy the ride and enjoy the level. And then the music is so hype to listen to. Then just go on, go on. And then you have to go to this launch star here. And then this launch star here. And then blast off we go. And then here is the part where you have to uh, collect the star chips to make a launch star. And that launch star will blast you off to that one area where you have the sink and spire that you need to get to. So now let's talk about my favorite lava level of all Mario games. So we'll talk about the coming up and here we go. Alright, Freeze Flames Blistering Core from Super Mario Galaxy has to be number one. You want to know why? Because, of course this game is my, of course this is my favorite Mario game. Of course this is my favorite Mario game. And this galaxy is my favorite galaxy in the game. And this game is my favorite Mario game. 
But the main reason is because it starts out in the cold area and ends up in the hot area for the rest of the time. And then you just have to do this. Grab all these star chips. Going through here like this. And it's quite simple to do. And then you just gotta do this. And it's quite simple to do. And then once you get to the swamp star, you blast off to the blistering core area. Which is the hot area of it that looks like lava. And then you have fire here. And then you just go on here. And then the main thing is, you have nothing to worry about because you can always grab this power stream to make it easier on you. Excuse me. And you can go this way to get the fire flower and use it to light up those torches right there to open your path for the rest of the level. And this level is my favorite lava level of all Mario games. And then, you just gotta do this. Simple enough. You can easily use this to take out enemies by burning them with the fire. light up that torch and then use it to light up those torches right there and then go on so forth and then thank you very much for watching guys if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite lava level in a mario game and why i would love to know have a good one and have a great day guys actually have a great night tonight and have a great day tomorrow guys